Hello guys, it's Godless Captive. Today I'm gonna show you how to make heal in Elder Scrolls Online. I mean good heal, the best healing in the game I've ever seen and I created this build for uh, maybe one week ago and I'm trying to figure out how to make a best skills. Then I found a way and I decided to create a video. Uh, let's start with the gear first. Also, as you can see, I'm a vampire girl and I'm calling her as a mystic. Mystic is my build name for, for the healing. Uh, let's start with the gear first. I'm using uh, the master restoration stuff. I get this from Dragon Star Arena Veteran Last Chess. So, uh, it's my main bar, first bar. It says main hand backup, but no, I'm, I'm using this, this one, as a first bar. Uh, on the other hand, I'm trying to get a milestone arena veteran restoration step, but it takes time. So, uh, I'm still trying to figure it out, because I stuck at stage 6 uh, I will try this again at the weekend I guess and I will record video and I'll upload to channel uh, I hope I will get the restoration stuff and uh, it says the dragon star master restoration stuff says has a unique glyph on it the first tick of Grand Healing abilities will restore 243 stamina to allies affected. While equipped, Max Magicka is increased by 972. So, uh, it's really good thing. As you can see, this one will give stamina to your allies and healing. And this skill is for Three seconds. Uh, I will, I will show the skill also. Uh, yeah. On the head, I don't need engine guardian also, but uh, I'm still using it. Sometimes I'm running out stamina, and it helps. 10% chance on ability use to summon a Dwemer automation to restore 1k health, stamina, magicka, every 0.5 second for 6.5 seconds. So it's a really good tank set if you ask me. But I'm I'm a little bit confused about the set as a healer. But anyway, it's helping a little bit. So I'm using it. So let's let's make him out from the ground. Come on, baby. Yeah, he's coming and he's giving help to me. Yeah. Hello. Hello. And this guy don't have any idea about this, I guess. So I don't know. Maybe he knows. Uh. Yeah. My main set. It's a twice burn star with divines with wet 16 gold kuta glyph uh, and it gives 1k health, 1k stamina and 1k magic and on the 5 item benefit allows you to, to have 2 manda stone boons at the same time. So on the character. Uh, I'm using Ritual to increase healing and the spell power to make more good healing. So I have 2k spell damage and 32 spell critical. No, I have inner light. Yeah, 42 spell critical and 2k spell damage and 17 spell resistance. As you can see, 8k physical, 40, 39k magic pool and nearly 17k health but that's enough for healing healer for everything for milestone for dragon star it's really enough 
if you know what to do. Uh, on the attributes, I put all my attributes into magic. So, uh, on the chest, waist, they are all divines and gold. On the hand, legs and shoes, all of them is a twice born star. So, you can craft twice born star in Craiglorn. Uh, it it need nine trade. Also, it will take time to research all the items. On my jeweler set, I'm using willpower set. I'm using with a glyph spell damage glyph, and they are all with arcane trade. So uh, it helps to increase my healing more than before. Then three items benefits against spell damage 186 and 1400 maximum magic it gives and also each one giving 840 maximum magicka. It's a really good to have for healer, for DPS templar or DPS sorcerer or magicka build. It's really good to use. But rings worth 60k now for now on PlayStation 4 Europe server. Uh, on the other hand, I told the attributes already, and I'm a vampire, and stage 4 vampire for PvP purpose. Let's check champion points then. I'm a Breton. Uh, Let's show from here. I'm a Breton. Then it Breton Breton passive gives a reduced magicka cost. So I I put 100 champion point into magician to reduce magicka cost more than before, and five on arcanist. But I need champion point. I didn't farm champion point, and when you have six to seven. Put all of them into Arcanist in the Thief Champion Point 3. And here, on the blue one, on the match, for a more healing, I put all my Champion Points into Bless because it's increasing 25% healing. You cast any healing from your class, from your Restoration Staff. It's already increased by 25% and increased damage and healing dealt by spell criticals by 2.6 and I will increase to 67 again and it will help so let's see you are getting 25% from here from the blast and with the Elfborn, when you have 67, you will get 18.9% more healing and more damage. But you are not gonna make damage, so uh, only make it 67, and that's all. And put all champion points back. Or. Cancel, yeah, cancel will work. On the other trees, you don't need to do anything. When the Bethesda increased the champion point cap, just make sure you have blessed and Elfborn 100 point. After this two, you can move to Tarmature because if you wanna make a little bit damage, you need Tarmature. The Templar skills templar damage skills making magic damage so you need to increase this as i recorded video before i'm using tarmature on it so it really helps on the warrior champion points i'm using uh, let me change this yeah let me change this Let's put 50-50. Yeah, 
53, 52 onto reduce flame frost and shock damage dealt you by 16 and 15.8 reduce poison disease and magic damage to you there is also spell resistance but hardy and elemental defender works very well and if you are making dps you can use quick recovery because you are getting heal for each strike with puncturing sweep so it will increase as long as you are puncturing sweeping uh, you are not gonna die with this champion point oh. and uh, there is a one more thing there's a another set for healer there is a spell power cure spell power cure is really good set it's dropping from white gold tower and you need to farm a lot to get specific items it says uh, 933 maximum magic 933 maximum magic 124 spell damage and on the 5 item, healing an ally at 100% health has a 50% chance to granting them 249 increased weapon and spell damage for 10 seconds. This is really good item to use as a healer. When they have 100 health, they will have increased weapon and spell damage for 10 seconds so you can make heal over time with rapid regeneration with mutagen with healing springs with extended ritual with purifying ritual they will have all the time that one so i have spell power cure set also uh, i will show after i check show the skills on my main bar i'm using healing springs 2.2k health each second for three seconds so as long as i'm healing my allies i will get 338 magicka back up to three people this this skill you see there is a blue thing when on the cast so you will get magicka back as long as your team is inside this area in this area and on the triangle i have inner light so it gives a spell critical 2k so it means i get 10 percent spell critical and my max magic increased by five percent on the other skill repentance i'm using repentance 4k health and 4k magic to each dead corpse in the area i'm trying to show you show you yeah you can use repentance after all corpse even for engine guardian like this and it's don't, uh, free it, it don't have any cost that's a free skill you need to use all the time when your team is stuck with stamina stuck with health you don't have magic just make repentance so channeled focus is uh, from restoring light last skill it's really cheap 622 magicka also i have champion point to reduce magicka cost its duration is 18 seconds it gives resistance and magicka back every half second so you can see my resistance now i have 17 but now 22 case by resistance and 13 physical resistance you don't need critical resistance for pve also for pvp you don't need 
critical resistance. I'm not sure about PvP a lot. I will create, I will record build video for PvP also. So I'm getting 5.2k five, 5 spell and physical resistance and 120 magicka every half second. Every second I will I will get back 240 magicka. So the main healing it's a breath of life. Breath of life from a uh, restoring light first skill. So it's a little bit emergency skill. If someone needs instant heal, you just use it. So it gives 10k and 5.2k to other two allies. And it's really good to use. Really. It's nearly don't have testing time. When you press button, they will get healed. Yeah, I'm a lucky. On my ultimate, I'm using Remembrance again from Restoring Light. It's a pure healer build also. Uh, it didn't cost a much ultimate and it gives 8.4k every 1 second for 4 seconds. So it reduced damage also to 23%. You can't move, we, we already know that. Um, this this ultimate, some guys using the other move. Other move is for PvP. It's not for PvE because uh, <coughs> there is some AoE you cannot escape. In PvE, everyone has damage over time or something, so you are making good heal to them and you are reducing damage taken for everyone on the other bar i'm using ready into operation to help my dps friends in damage after <coughs> enemies <coughs> less than 50 percent health so they will take 330 percent extra damage but it has a casting time, channel time, 2.9 seconds. But it's really good. But duration is 3 sec. And inner light on both bars again. And shard. Shard is important for uh, tanks, for your stamina friends. So, there is a 2 shard. The other, other morph is a blazing spear. So Blazing Spear only gives stamina when they use synergy, but this shard, Luminous Shard, also you can give magic to your Magicka build friends. They can get magic with this, with this, and uh, it's really good to use this morph. You don't need to make, <coughs> sorry, you don't need to make any damage with this. Restoring 25% stamina plus 1.8k stamina and magicka over 10 seconds. It's good. So I'm using eccentric ritual. One, it's like healing springs, but it's longer than healing springs, but less healing. <coughs> and you cannot move this all the time. You place it and that's all. But you can place healing springs from here, from here, from here, to here. But you cannot use extended ritual like this. You need to move. You need to move and it's hard. Just use healing springs if they need. Like this. And you can heal everywhere. Exandit ritual has a cleanse thing so you can cleanse yourself one harmful effect and heal nearby allies for 1k every two seconds for 22 seconds so your allies can use synergy when they are inside this circle uh, they will use synergy 
and they will heal themselves and they will remove bad effects from themselves again and yeah they they have 5k more health when they use synergy on the other hand i'm using rapid regeneration other morph is mutagen <coughs> mutagen also removing bad effects but i have this i have excellent ritual my allies can use purify to cleanse themselves so i don't need mutagen yeah mutagen is automatic but uh, sometimes the things not to be automatic because it gives more health and less time 16.5 seconds and 18k health so you can if you are in a dungeon just use two times so everyone will get rapid regeneration on them and they will heal over time like healing springs like extended ritual and uh yeah hello hello yeah let's show the rapid regeneration yeah and this healing springs oh he jumped oh he is also templar too great then make honor to him yeah I respect that guy uh, yeah this guy will have regeneration now yeah he said hello yeah hello anyway let's make him use the shard no no okay uh yeah on the second bar i'm using clothing swarm for pvp purpose so i can become invisible i like the invisibility will be regranted even if it's broken so you are always invisible when you are using this for five seconds so you guys can change the clothing swarm to support ultimate invoke defensive tactics to protect yourself and nearby allies with words that each absorb up to 30 30k damage for 30 seconds uh, just tell your friends stay close to me and uh, they when they close to you uh, just use barrier you can also uh, increase the barrier damage thing if you give up with elemental defender and hardy uh, you can put all your points into bastion so it says increase the effectiveness of damage absorbing effe effects by zero percent for now uh, your barrier will have i'm not sure but uh maybe 40k damage absorbing so it's really good for some situations if you if if boss has a 10 percent health and you don't have magic but you have barrier just use it they are not gonna die for 30 seconds it's impossible to die with this that's why i'm using clothing swarm for now uh <coughs> to get barrier to six level mine is a uh, four and a half a little bit right now pvp is skill three and uh there's a uh, something maybe you guys stuck with things maybe you guys didn't reach that stats uh, maybe you don't have a uh, twice burn star or something because twice burn star gives you a uh, also health 1k health 1k stamina 1k magic so if you guys stuck and if you are dying just change rapid regeneration to uh, harness magica harness magica absorbs spell damage 
You are not gonna die with it. Harness Magica channeled focus will give resistance and spell spell uh, shield. Uh, but I prefer to use rapid regeneration or, or I don't know you guys can change radiant oppression if you don't if you really don't need to make damage but rapid radiant oppression is just in case maybe everyone dies and I am the only people who are alive and I can kill the boss with radiant oppression because it's really making good damage or you guys can remove uh, Maybe extended ritual you can remove and put Harness magica here and it will also work well And see you guys take care of yourself. Thanks for your watching. Bye. -bye.